Welcome to the Extend Academy. So, since we've gone over the different types, why don't we just start with our standard card? So for standard cards, the recipients, that's always gonna be the email address of the user in your organization who you wanna send this to. So I am going to send this to a colleague for an upcoming event. Let's say there's a conference this summer. So summer conference 2023, I'm gonna put it for New York because that's where I am and I have little imagination. Uh, the account is the funding source, so the account where the money is coming from. Credit limit, you can set this to whatever you want, and you can change this at any time. Active until, so that is the date up until which this card can be used. So you can set it for two days, you can set it for weeks, you can set it for months or years. Because this is a summer conference, I'm going to set it for August 31st. After that date, the card can no longer be used. Now, expense categories, there's an option here to select some of our pre-populated labels. I'm going to select T and E for this, but we'll go over this in a later video. You can set these up for your organization and make it really specific. This is going to help you with reconciliation at the end of the month if your company uses specific codes. If your organization has something GL categories, we can tailor this to work for you. Attachments are exactly what they sound like. If you have any documents, invoices, approvals that you want to attach here, there you go. You just add your documents. And notes. This is just a place for you to write down anything that might be helpful for you. So since I'm sending this to Cheyenne, I am going to write her a note. And for my own memory, this is for airfare and per diem. All right, and now I'm ready to create the card, and I do that just by clicking here. And it's done. The card has been created that quickly. So Cheyenne can start using that card immediately. To learn more, visit our Help Center.